And that's why we're here today. Because something called precision medicine, in some cases people call it personalized medicine, gives us one of the greatest opportunities for new medical breakthroughs that we have ever seen. Doctors have always recognized that every patient is unique. Uh, and doctors have always tried to tailor their treatments as best they can to individuals. You can match a blood transfusion to a blood type. That was an important discovery. What if matching a cancer cure to our genetic code was just as easy, just as standard? What if figuring out the right dose of medicine was as simple as taking our temperature? And that's the promise of precision medicine delivering the right treatments at the right time, every time, to the right person. And for a small but growing number of patients, that future is already here. Eight out of 10 people with one type of leukemia saw white blood cell counts return to normal with a new drug targeting a specific gene. Genetic testing for HIV patients helps doctors determine who will be helped by a new antiviral drug and who will experience harmful side effects. And advances in technology means these breakthroughs could be just the beginning. The year Dr. Collins helped sequence the first human genome, it cost about $100 million. And today it costs less than 2000 Wearable electronics make it easier than ever to record vital signs from your blood sugar to your heart rate. Electronic medical records let doctors and researchers across the country collaborate more closely than ever before, and more powerful computers help us analyze data faster than ever before. So if we combine all these emerging technologies, if we focus them and make sure that the connections are made, then the possibility of discovering new cures, the possibility of applying medicines more efficiently and more effectively so that the success rates are higher, so that there's less waste in the system, which then means more resources to help more people, the possibilities are boundless. So the time's right to unleash a new wave of advances in this area, in precision medicine, just like we did with genetics 25 years ago.